welcome back to the channel thanks for watching if you haven't already hit the subscribe button go check out all the other videos tonight we're at cruise the moose it is uh ford night so there's gonna be a lot of fords here uh representing and uh Although the weather doesn't look all that great, there is a pretty good turnout. So we're gonna try to get to as many cars as we can before we uh, have to head on out due to pending weather. So uh, thanks for watching and let's get to the video. And it was shipped in. Uh, a friend of mine seen this car. I was originally looking for a 35. Uh, I wanted a 35 three window. And uh, I didn't find it. And I was looking for a six or seven year old. And one day my buddy and I were, uh, were in. Uh, uh, at a, uh, at a street run event and two 36ers came in back to back and I said Jim you know what I'm going to start looking for a 36 and I said those, those, those cars are beautiful I had that car a week a week later I had the car and I, knew I, I had it chipped in but when the car came in and I seen it if I wouldn't have looked at it, I'd never would have looked at it. You couldn't close the door. The guy that had it was going to put new floors in the car. And he just cut the floors out, welded new floors in, and he warped the bottom. The door overlapped the sheet metal for the closing. It was a mess. The car was a real mess. What drew you to 36? The style of the car. So overall? Overall. Um, so I started the car myself in my garage. I did all the rough body work. Registered? And then Steve, his name is Steve Nick. He owns a body shop just outside of Woodstock. He did the final body work and the paint. When was that? Eight years ago. Can you tell me about the engine combination, transmission, drivetrain in this? Okay, this is has a 49 Mercury engine. Uh, a guy that works for uh, Rich Adams, his name was uh, uh, Frank. He was just uh, Rich Adams, like an alley mechanic. He took the, the original motor, he said, this motor has never been touched. He said, I don't think it, the motor's got 40,000 miles on it, but one piston was still. So he pounded it out, put in a new piston, new ring, uh, new cam, new hydraulic lifters, put it back together and we put it in the car and I ran it for eight years that way. And it's uh, stock internal, otherwise on yep. stock. Specs. It's stock bore, it's still stock bore. It was just rebuilt this winter time. I took it to um, a street rod shop in Barrington called uh, Fox Valley Hot Rod. They rebuilt the engine and transmission. The transmission is an S10 5 speed. Uh, there's a company in Iowa called Corn Huskers that makes an adapter to adapt the Chevy 5 speed, truck 5 speed, to a flathead motor. That's what's in there. I met a guy from Edelbrock that uh, 
he was at the show and he said, I've worked for Edelbach for 25 years. I've never seen that intake man. It's a high rise with two 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 well. Those are the original uh, 97 on the car. The uh, uh, distributor is really a uh, a magneto. And uh, it, it's from 51. The rear end is a Hildebrand quick change. It's from 48. Um, the headers, the headers I don't know when they're from, but they're from the 50s. I wanted to build a car like the guys were building when they came back from Korea or World War II. And that, that's what the car was all about. What do you got going on in the interior? The interior is uh, 68 Mustang seats. And they're real close. Otherwise it's stock. Otherwise it's stock. Well, the upholstery on the door conforms to the fender. If you look, the, the shape of the uh, upholstery on the door conforms to the fender. Otherwise it's stock. Well, that's awesome. Thanks for the story. It was a... That was great to hear, man. It was a, a dream. something you don't see very often uh, hardly ever really I see this one that's about it it's a uh, very very neat though Mercury Cyclone spoiler Kale Yarborough edition don't know how many they made but it can't be a lot of them I want to say it's got a Cobra Jet motor don't quote me on that but uh, it's a very neat car Unfortunately, the rain I was fearing came in and uh, just as I was filming this vehicle, I didn't get to finish the interview with the owner. Hopefully I can catch up with him at another time. 
It's a very neat car. Uh, big thanks to Larry for sitting down with me and telling me all about his beautiful 36 Ford. Hopefully we can see him out later this year. He said he's gonna bring his Catalina out. Uh, if you guys like the content I'm providing, please like the, the uh, video, comment, and always subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.